Sunshine Nelly und die Wolke sind verfallen. Du bin ich auch oh so hallig, du bist mein. Nix kann mein Lieber ein Rapp, nix kann süßer sein. Und bis die Sunshine Nelly, ich bin dein.
and then she went over for some of that cake mix. You know, they have a new cake mix up. It's what's the name of that cake? Oh, it's made with saltpeter. It's called Schmunstown. Then she went over for that cereal. They have a new cereal called Prostituti. Instead of going snap, crackle, and pop, it just lays there and bangs away. <laughs> then she got some soap. Procter and Gamble puts it out. Say, it's called Queer. It sucks the dirt out. <laughs> then she went over for a chicken. She got one of these here chickens out of the ice. She looked at it. She smelled with the back. She smelled with the front. She smelled with the... <laughs> Between the legs, she said to Butcher, how do you know this chicken stinks? He said, lady, you think you could pass a test like that? <laughs> then she bought one of these processed chickens, you know. They come in a plastic bag with a zipper to keep in the refrigerator, convenient, safe, you know. So she goes out, gets into the bus, puts the chicken on the seat of the side of the driver down the street. The guy gets on, walks up the aisle, picks up the chicken, sets it on the floor. They're driving down the street, she figures I better make sure my chicken's all right. She reaches over, pulls down the zipper, reaches inside. Oh my God, nothing but next and kiss her. <laughs> so she gets off the bus, she's walking down the pavement. We go to her house, you know, and she has these packages on her arm. There's a cat chasing a dog down the street. The dog ran right between her legs with his tail up and tickled her face up. It scared her so much that she dropped the packages. Here she had found a silver dollar on the pavement, you know, and she had that in her mouth. And she swallowed the silver dollar. So she ran into the house, told her husband, he said, My God, Mary, that you give you for stuffing. So they called the doctor real quick. The doctor came over, he gave a real strong lock searing. Physic. <laughs> and anyway, he said, You better get the pot because it's worked pretty fast. So she sat on pretty soon and rattled and looked in her sport quarters. The doctor said, I thought you said you swallowed the silver dollar. Yes, yeah, she did. I think, but I think I'm an in change of life. We have a girl down there two doors below our place. Said she'd do anything in the world for a mink coat. Now she can't put it. <laughs> and there was one on three doors below. She was leaving the other day to go on her honeymoon. And then I heard her mom say now, Honey, when you ride home, don't put that naughty word on the postcard. Just say that you had ice cream. Two days later, she comes over the car. Said we had ice cream for breakfast. Next day, she comes over again. We had ice cream for breakfast, dinner, and supper. Next day she brings another card. We got to like ice cream so much, he eats it out of the box and I eat it off the stick. You know, I remember back 
to, I'm 47 right now, and I remember back to when I was five years old. I was born on a farm, you know. And I was sitting there in the living room one day in front of a big roaring fire. Now, we didn't have a fireplace. And my pop come walking in and said, Leroy! Scared the pants off me. You know, he always called me Leroy, because that was my name. So, sometime when he was real mad, though, he called me another name. I think it was something in Spanish. Spanish. Yes, I think it was something like Sebastian. <laughs> so anyhow, I always wanted a dog, and we were awful poor, you know. Never could afford one. And I developed what is known as a complex. And they finally had to take me to one of them psychiatric doctors there. Psychiatrist. Psychiatrist. And uh, so they, he took me into this doctor. He said, what's the trouble? He said, he thinks he's a dog. The doctor looked at me and said, how long have you had this? I said, ever since I'm a puppy. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, then I started school for the first day. You know, I ate it like a devil to wash because we lived in this cool uh, farmhouse, you know. And anyway, I come home at dinner time already with a note pinned on me. The teacher said that my mom should wash me because I stink. But my mom was a lot smarter than the teacher. She sent me right back again with another note pinned on me. It said, learn them, don't smell them. <laughs> and then I found out there's two kinds of people. And I had my first date, you know. I went with a girl from Houston, Zach. And uh, I wanted to take, take her to one of those here drive-in theaters, you know. But she said no. And her name was Charmaine, you know. And from then I called her Chicken Charmaine. Then I went with a girl, and uh, used to call that one my melancholy baby because she had a head like a melon and a face like a collie. <laughs> and now we're going to play. We have a request for, can't even see in the name, something about a, no it wasn't no ball. Sweet Violets, that's right. Over the grass, it's my red bow, 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 it's my